how to record your CPD using SIBSI's professional development portal, My Career Path. My Career Path is a professional development portal owned and created by the Engineering Council. It is licensed to professional engineering institutions for use by its members and is a tool for you to plan, record and reflect on your CPD. For individuals who are aiming to apply for Engineering Council professional registration, you can create personalised development plans detailing how you can demonstrate the UK spec competences required for Engineering Technician, Incorporated Engineer or Chartered Engineer level. This recording will cover how to plan and record your CPD, as well as guide you on how to submit your CPD if you've been selected for SIBSI's annual CPD audit. Your My Career Path profile is associated with your existing My SIBSI login and is accessed in the same way as your previous CPD portal. First, you must log into your My SIBSI profile at www.sibsi.org and clicking Login in the top right hand corner. Once logged in, click on My SIBSI and then from the drop down box click My CPD SIBSI Membership. Please note in the example here, it just says My CPD, however in the live version of the website you'll be viewing, you'll be able to see the full link My CPD SIBSI Membership. On your first access, you'll be prompted to create a new account. Click Create Account. You will only need to do this once when you first log in. You'll then be prompted to read and agree to the Engineering Council's Privacy Notice. This will only need to be completed once. If you're satisfied with the Privacy Notice, tick I have read and agree to the terms of this Privacy Notice and then click Done. Once logged in, you will be directed to your My Career Path homepage. I will now give a brief tour of the homepage, starting off with your name, which will appear here where the red arrows indicate. This box on the right here is a welcome message, and at the top is the main menu for where you can plan, record, and report on your CPD activity. This yellow box at the top is a shortcut to record a quick CPD record. If you are working towards applying for Engineering Council registration as an Engineering Technician, Incorporated Engineer, or Chartered Engineer, you can select a profile to track your CPD against the applicable UK spec competence. This is optional. And lastly, during SIBSI's annual CPD audit, an additional box will appear in the bottom right of your homepage. If you've been randomly selected to participate in the audit, you'll be asked to submit a report of your CPD evidence via the link in this box. I will now guide you on how to use My Career Path to plan your CPD. First, click on Plans from the main menu in the top right of your homepage. This will bring up a list of any planned CPD objectives you have already recorded. To add a new plan, click the yellow box, Add Plan. Complete the fields with your plan's title, objectives and start and end date, and make sure you select CPD as the profile. Once you've completed all the fields, click the yellow box, Save. If you would like to share your plan externally with your manager or mentor, for example, you can enter in their email address here. This is optional. Once you've clicked Save, you'll be taken back to the Plans page where you can view your newly added plan. You can edit, export and delete existing plans on the right by clicking the grey icons. Continue repeating this process to add new plans. I will now guide you through how to use My Career Path to record your CPD. To record evidence of your CPD, first click on the Evidence link from the main menu in the top right. This will display a list of any pre recorded CPD evidence. To add new evidence, click on the Add Evidence yellow button at the top of your screen. You will be directed to the Evidence Wizard where you can complete the fields with information related to your specific CPD activity. There are six compulsory fields for each CPD record. These are the CPD activity title, the CPD category, the number of hours, the description of the CPD activity and the start and end date. These fields are marked with a red asterisk and must be completed for each activity. For SIBSI corporate members, i.e. licentiate, associate, member and fellows, 
The fields without an asterisk must be completed for at least two CPD activities per year and any activity that is over five hours long. This is a CPD requirement for corporate members of SIPSI. For more information, visit our website www.sibsi.org forward slash CPD. Retired members are exempt from this requirement with the exception of those who are actively volunteering for SIPSI where the Engineering Council require them to maintain their CPD. Information on each field can be found by clicking on the blue icon next to the field title. Additional text will appear as so. Once you've completed all the fields, select CPD as the profile. You can then upload any supporting documents for your CPD activity. Please note this is optional and not compulsory for audit purposes. When complete, click Save. And once again, you have the option of sharing this record externally by entering in an email address at the bottom. Once you've clicked Save, you'll be brought back to the Evidence main screen where you'll see your growing list of CPD activities. Continue repeating this process to record additional CPD evidence. You can also edit, delete or export your evidence by clicking on the grey icons to the right of each activity. You also have the option of completing a quick CPD record. This is only recommended when you're on the go. For example, on the train home after attending a SIBC event, you can log in on your mobile and add a quick CPD record. This will only capture brief information of the event, however, it will save it to your evidence list for you to go back later and add additional detail. This can be accessed from your My Career Path homepage. Now I'll talk about how to generate a CPD report. CPD reports are used to gather your plans and evidence over a period of time. If you are selected for our annual audit, you'll be asked to submit a report of your CPD for the immediate preceding year. To generate a report, click on Reports from the main menu in the top right. A list of any previous reports will be displayed here. To create a new report, click Add Report. You will be directed to Report Wizard, which looks like this. Enter the report title. For example, if you're creating the report for the CPD audit, you could title it CPD Audit 2021. Enter in the start date and the end date of your preferred period. For audit purposes, this will be the first and the last day of the immediate preceding calendar year. Ensure you select CPD report as the report type and then click Save and View when complete. Your CPD report will display all CPD plans and evidence submitted during your determined timeframe. Any associated supporting documents you uploaded alongside your CPD will also be included. You also have the option to share this report externally. This is optional. Your completed reports can then be viewed from the reports page. Clicking on the title of the report will open it back up again for view. You can also generate a quick CPD report. This will automatically generate a report with your plans and evidence from the immediate preceding 12 months. This will usually not be suitable for the audit as the audit period is for the previous calendar year. However, you may find this option useful for other purposes. I will now guide you on how to use My Career Path to submit your CPD for audit. SIBSI run an annual audit to review a percentage of corporate members' CPD at random. This is to ensure that we meet and comply with the requirements and standards set by the Engineering Council. If you've been randomly selected for audit, you will be asked to submit a report of your CPD for the immediate preceding calendar year. During the audit period, a box will appear on your My Career Path homepage. Click on the link to participate in the audit. Your personal information will appear here. These details will not be shared with our CPD assessors. Your submission will remain anonymous. Select your previously generated CPD report for the preceding calendar year and then click Add Report. If your report does not appear here, then repeat the previous procedure to complete the report. Your report will then appear under Selected Reports. Click Submit when finished. 
Once submitted, the following message will appear. We will be notified when your report has been submitted. Your CPD will then be reviewed by trained SIBC CPD assessors and feedback will be provided via email. If you maintain an external record of your CPD, you can submit it for audit by selecting Submit External Record and clicking Add Report. This will bring up a new box where you can upload your external report and submit it for formal review. External CPD records must still meet SIBC CPD requirements for corporate members. For more information, visit www.sibc.org forward slash CPD. Lastly, I'll advise you on how you can find help using My Career Path. Help can be accessed at all times from the main menu by clicking Help. From there, you can download the SIBC My Career Path User Guide PDF. You can also find this guidance on our website at www.sibc.org forward slash CPD. If you have any questions about My Career Path or about your CPD, please do contact us at cpd.sibc.org and we will be happy to help. Thank you.